so we're here today to install the post-it dry erase surface board, which is a new super sticky adhesive on the back. The advantage of this is you can buy a regular whiteboard from your office supply dealer. It's going to come with a ton of packaging and a durable frame that you're going to have to put on a surface. It's kind of a permanent solution. The dry erase surfaces are a temporary solution and thus very easy to install. No tools are required. So why don't we go ahead and get started. So this model that we're going to install is the 6x4. It's 6 feet by 4 feet. There are uh, several other options including a 2x3 and a 3x4. The model number for the 6x4 is MMMDEF6X4. It's important to take off the tape and remove the plastic from the box. And I would uh, recommend saving all of the materials that came with this in case you ever want to transport and relocate um, the dry erase surface. The cardboard core you see on the left here is um, ideal for rolling this back up and the black sheeting on the back is useful for covering the adhesive in a way that makes prevents any dirt or dust from getting on the, the sticky adhesive in the back and causing any bubbles or imperfections on the surface. There's a tiny tab that will be on the corner. It's a good starting point for removing the dry erase surface from the black backing. There's an enclosed blue microfiber cleaning cloth. I wouldn't throw that out. I'd be sure to save that. It's also useful while installing. Uh, you can see here I, I actually used a Kleenex, which is works just fine for removing the bubbles. Because of the size of this particular dry erase surface, which was four by six, I uh, started in the corners and it helps kind of identify uh, the, make sure that you get a level install. Ultimately, I wound up having to remove the entire thing and, and take the backing off before doing any ad adhesion because it was such a big, uh, big surface. There's no special uh, preparation needed on a painted wall but I would consult with uh, the manufacturer for another surface type if there is any prep needed. I think as long as you don't completely fold over, uh, any creases will just disappear once you have uh, the ad adhesion to the wall. And with these larger sizes, I guess I would suggest removing the uh, upper half of the backing and uh, working that top up. Make sure that it is level and uh, the placement is how you'd like it before you go ahead and pull down on the bottom to remove the rest of the black backing. You can force bubbles off the sides by lifting and uh, just rubbing in an outward motion. And make sure just to use a regular dry erase marker. After a few months of use, I've noticed that occasionally I will draw off the side, which is one disadvantage of a uh, rigid whiteboard, which has a frame. You look at it from different angles so that you make sure to really get all the bubbles out. And I suggest keeping the black backing so that if you do need to, you can adhere this to the dry erase at the end. If you're removing it and using it someplace else, roll it around the tube, stick it back in the box, and you can use it again and again. Okay? That's the post-it dry erase surface. Check out The Motley Guy for more videos like this. And thanks for watching.